Now, as I recall, when you were young, it was when you first met Sophie Tucker, and I seem to recall that you had a very good story about that. I um, met her in New York, and she was appearing at the uh, Radio City Music Hall. And I used to haul a lot of stars in and out of Radio City Music Hall, and uh, met her there. And she, she was just as nice off the stage as she was on. She had a good sense of humor, enjoyed people, and she enjoyed people enjoying her. You know, she really played to an audience. Well, when you were a young child, did, didn't uh, you meet her one time when you were a young child? Yeah, uh, that's that's when I was what eight eight or nine years old. I met, met her because my uh, grandpa did theatrical moving too. It's it's funny that we. We were never that close, but I turned out to be a mover after him. Hmm. But uh, what did so didn't Sophie uh, do something with, with you when you were young? Oh yeah, she she gave me a big hug, and uh, everybody said, "Well, I wish I could be hugged by Sophie Tucker." <laughs> you know, she was the last of the big hot mamas. <laughs> And she said something to you at the time. Didn't didn't she uh, press your head? Oh, she pressed my head head against her chest, and she said, "You'll never forget that, and I never have." 